Yes, $2,000 payments for all couples and individuals. Are big increases for Social Security finally happening? There is renewed focus in Congress on reforms aimed at strengthening the Social Security program for current and future retirees. Two major pieces of proposed legislation, the Social Security 2100 Act and the Social Security Fairness Act, could significantly impact millions of Americans if passed into law. Both bills address long-standing issues and aim to improve fairness within the Social Security system. In addition to discussing the Social Security 2100 Act and Social Security Fairness Act, the video also mentioned that $2,000 payments for all SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries, including couples and individuals, are expected to be approved soon by Congress. This would provide much-needed economic relief for our most vulnerable populations who rely on government assistance programs. The COVID-19 pandemic had hit these communities especially hard, so the direct cash payments could help cover essential living expenses at this difficult time. It sounds like lawmakers are moving quickly to authorize these support payments before the end of the year. If passed, the additional funding would make a meaningful difference for millions of Americans with disabilities, senior citizens, veterans, and others who depend on Social Security disability or veteran benefits. This paper will provide an in-depth overview of the key provisions and goals of each bill, including expected benefits and levels of support. It will also analyze the political outlook and likelihood of enactment. Taken together, these reforms offer hope that lawmakers may finally deliver on decades of promises to bolster one of the most important social programs in the country. Social Security 2100 Act. The Social Security 2100 Act, introduced by Representative John Larson, takes a multi-pronged approach to enhancing benefits and preventing more Americans from retiring into poverty. A cornerstone of the legislation is a across-the-board increase in benefits by 2% for all current and future recipients. This modest bump would help combat the effects of inflation on fixed incomes over time. An equally important provision focuses on strengthening the minimum benefit amount. The bill proposes raising the floor 25% above the federal poverty level, which would equate to approximately $500 extra per month. This targets one of the major flaws in the current system, that some who paid into Social Security their whole careers still receive benefits below poverty standards. The increased minimum should pull many more seniors out of financial hardship. A third key reform concerns cost of living adjustments, also known as COLAs. Under the current method that uses the CPIW index, some argue adjustments have not fully accounted for senior citizens' actual spending pattern. The 2100 Act recommends switching to an experimental CPIE index that proponents say better captures costs faced by the elderly, such as medical care. Over the long run, this could lead to larger annual COLA bumps. In combination, these changes aim to fulfill lawmakers' long-standing pledge that Social Security should provide a solid foundation for a basic standard of living after a lifetime of work. The bill has broad backing among Democrats in Congress in recognition of its meaningful reforms. However, gaining significant Republican support remains an obstacle to eventual passage. Proponents will need to make further headway convincing skeptics that the proposed expansions do not jeopardize the program's long-term solvency. Social Security Fairness Act while the 2100 Act tackles issues impacting all beneficiaries, the Social Security Fairness Act targets unfair treatment faced specifically by public sector workers. Under current rules, individuals who split their careers between government jobs not covered by Social Security and private sector work that is covered can see their retirement benefits reduced through provisions like the Windfall Elimination Provision, WEP, and Government Pension Offset, GPO. The Fairness Act aims to remedy this inequity by fully repealing both the WEP and GPO. This would ensure all public servants receive Social Security benefits based on total contributions, regardless of other pension income. Supporters argue it is only fair that someone receiving a pension from a job not covered by Social Security should still qualify for benefits from earnings accumulated through a separate career where payroll taxes were paid into the system. The bill removes penalties that essentially amount to double taxation for these non-covered public workers. Notably, this legislation enjoys unusually strong bipartisan backing with advocates on both sides of the political aisle. Support spans the ideological spectrum from progressive Democrats to libertarian Republicans who see the current rules as an overreach. 
the broad cross-party coalition greatly increases prospects for the Fairness Act compared to other Social Security bills that tend to break down along party lines. Most analysts now give it well over a 50% chance of enactment, potential impact, and political outlook. If both pieces of legislation became law, it would represent the most substantial set of changes to Social Security in decades. The 2100 Act reforms could mean an extra $600 or more annually for the average retired worker once fully phased in. Meanwhile, repeal of the WF and GPO is estimated to restore thousands of dollars a year in benefits for millions of public sector retirees. With tens of millions of Americans relying on Social Security for a major portion of retirement income, these policy updates could go a long way towards alleviating financial distress. It would help fulfill the program's original promise as a foundation for a dignified life after career employment ends. The bills also reflect a growing consensus that changes are needed to strengthen protections for current and future generations. From a political standpoint, the Fairness Act seems poised for swift approval given the unprecedented level of bipartisan backing already in place. For the more wide-ranging 2100 Act, though, securing enough Republican votes to overcome filibuster hurdles remains an open question. Proponents will continue lobbying across party lines to build additional support. Both pieces of legislation are expected to receive floor votes after the upcoming election cycle concludes. The Social Security 2100 Act and Social Security Fairness Act offer meaningful improvements aiming to enhance fairness, strengthen benefits, and fulfill long-broken pledges of reform. Especially with a divided Congress, even incremental progress through bills like these could go a long way. The Fairness Act in particular seems on track for timely enactment, due its unusually bipartisan composition. Advocates will keep pushing for action on 2100 Act as well to bring its reforms into law. Overall, seniors, workers, and retirees across the country stand to benefit greatly if these proposals move forward as the beginning of a renewed effort to shore up Social Security for current and future generations. Lawmakers now have an opportunity to deliver real solutions their constituents have awaited for many years. While the Social Security 2100 Act and Fairness Act could make important strides if passed, more will still need to be done to address long-term fiscal challenges facing the program. According to projections, the Social Security Trust Fund reserves are expected to be depleted in around 15 years unless legislative action is taken. This does not mean benefits would cease, but it would result in an across-the-board cut of around 20% to recipient payment levels. Clearly, more comprehensive reforms are ultimately required to sustain Social Security solvency in the decades ahead. Options that policymakers may consider include gradually increasing the full retirement age, raising the payroll tax rate, subjecting more high-income earners to Social Security taxes on total wages, or adopting a new formula for calculating cost-of-living adjustments. However, none of these more substantial measures seem politically viable in the current environment.